Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Connection. Well, good morning, Tennessee Valley, and welcome to another day of broadcasting right here at WTKL, your gospel explosion station where we made the connection. We got that hookup with Pastor Mom Barrett and Christ in action. Hey, good morning, Pastor. Good morning. How you doing this morning? Well, sir, you know what day it is. It is a marvelous Monday, a great day to be alive in the Lord, uh, declaring the, the virtues, the excellence of the one who called us out of darkness into the marvelous light. <laughs> they call they call this the the, the 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 beginning of the weekend hangover. <laughs> yeah, 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 so uh, yeah, we we hit it for another week. So hey, I know you have uh, that uh, good news to get us started for this week, and so we're gonna step <laughs> out of the way, Pastor, and let you do what you've been doing the best for the past twenty seven years. That's bringing us news that we can use. So. All right, indeed, delighted to be bringing the good news of God's word. And as he himself spoke in Isaiah 55, it is his word that goes out is as the rain and snow uh, that waters the earth. It doesn't return there, but causes it to spring forth and bud, giving bread to eat and seed to sow. That His word never returns to him void but prospers in what he sends it to do and accomplishes that which he pleases. For him, for that purpose, we bring the good news of God's word and the good news of the word of Christ, the word of grace to us every single day that as the apostle Paul says, we commend you to that. Acts chapter 20, verse 32, the word of God's grace, which will fill you up and calls you to walk in the inheritance that you have of those who are set apart unto him. How do we become set apart to him? By simply embracing what Christ came to do, which was to redeem us and set us apart to God. Even as Ephesians 1 says that we are chosen in Christ from the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. And it is so as we embrace our Lord Jesus Christ. I think it's so important to understand in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, where it says that if anyone is in Christ and we who embrace him are baptized by the Holy Spirit into Christ, that we become new creatures. Old things pass away. All things become new and all things are of God. You know, friend, uh, this simple truth is an extremely important one for us. You know, as I grew up, they used to sing a song about conversion. They said, I looked at my hands and my hands looked new and looked at my feet and my feet did too. You know, that was just an expression of a sense of newness of life that comes in the conversion too faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, being brought out of darkness into the marvelous light of God and to uh, be brought to a place to now be, as he writes in that same passage, the apostle Peter, uh, be a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, his special people who show forth his virtues, his praises. You know, friend, uh, living with this perspective, you know, we, we have this thought of one day we'll see, you know, a new heaven, a new earth wherein dwells righteousness. And we thank God for that promise. But the Bible teaches in Ephesians chapter one that we have been given God's spirit, which is the earnest of our inheritance unto the redemption of the chosen possession. What does that mean? It means that God's spirit in us now is a foretaste of the glory divine. You know that song, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation purchased by God, born of his spirit, you know, filled with his love. 
This is my story. You know, friend, that should be more than a song for us. Every day of our lives, that should be our story, the story that we're living, the story that we're walking out, the story that we're telling. Is that your story of blessed assurance? I believe that we can all who embrace him and know that Jesus is ours and we are his, we can live each new day with that expectation that all things are of God and the old things have passed away. All things have become new and all things are of God. Why is that important? Because it renews us in the spirit of our minds. You know, our mind's attitude and expect ex perspective sets our expectations and our expectations uh, become our realities. And you say, well, you mean I can imagine and think about anything and that'll become my reality? Well, the scripture says in Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 8, as we think, as a man thinks in his or her heart, uh, that so he or she is. Now, how do, what does that mean? It simply means this, as we understand that we are God's royal priesthood, his chosen generation, his special people, and we think from that perspective, we can begin to live lives that is the story of God's blessed assurance that Jesus being ours and enjoying the foretaste of the glories of all those things that are to come by the Holy Spirit's work in my life and in your life today. Not only that, friend, but we can be the agents of the same. We're not just trying to make it through the day, but we're thriving and flourishing in the day, knowing that we have this blessed assurance and that we can share this story, live this story, and share this story with others. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day because together we're the difference that makes a difference as we awaken to his purpose of knowing him and his love for us, mobilize his mission of making him known and sharing his love with, it, with others. That's good news on this marvelous Monday morning, Pete. Man, I, I tell you what, uh, you got a, 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 a fan club that's called the Marvelous Club. And, and I, I tell you, they love to hear you say that. Hey, we appreciate you. I enjoy that message and we look forward to hearing you in the morning again. Right here on WDJL with another Christ in Action broadcast. Yes, sir. Keep on blowing the gospel up and uh, keeping us in the house with great gospel music and encouraging words like you've done all these years. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, Pastor. Hey, right now in the Tennessee All right. We, we give glory and honor to our Father God today. Let us go in his strength and let's go in his ability in this new day. There's fresh and new mercies for us today. Because his compassions fail not and his faithfulness is unwavering to us. There is no variableness in the shadow of turning. Let us look for his good and perfect gifts in the day and let us pass it on and share it with others. Have a great day. Remember this, God loves himself and you and we do too. You matter to God and you matter to us.